What's going on YouTube? Jonathan Wright with Tactical Toolbox and I got another product review coming for you guys from Strike Industries. But first, be, be sure to go check out edccompany.com. They provided this awesome Second Amendment uh, t-shirt for us and uh, you can use my coupon code Tactical Toolbox, no spaces, all lowercase, one word, I'll put links in the description and you can get 10% off anything at their site. And they got all kinds of cool stuff so be sure to go check them out. But let's get into the product review, guys. Today, we have the Toolless uh, Disassembly Strike Industries plate that they sent out to me for review about a month and a half ago. Had a few issues with it, got it corrected. So that's good, guys. Basically, I, as you guys know, I love the Zev um, Technologies triggers. And um, right now, I'm running this awesome, innovative gunfighter solution. I call it the shark tooth trigger. Awesome trigger, but I'm still running Zev internals. I'm still running the race connector and the springs. And uh, one of the big problems that I was having is that I could not get the, uh, what do you call it? I couldn't get this connector. If you see the connector inside right here, I kind of pushed it forward for you. It wouldn't go through this hole. And basically some, what it strike had done is they didn't quite mill it out well enough. Um, now, Strike Industries is known for making top-notch quality products for AR-15s and Glocks alike. And um, they made the tolerances just a little bit too tight and it worked with every other connector that I have except for the race connector from Zev because the head of it is kind of fat. So I emailed Garrett who sent these out to me for review and he goes, dude, we got the guys on it already. They're going to correct everything. And I guess no one else had had the issue. I guess Nobody else that bought this ran a race connector except for me, but they went ahead and uh, fixed it regardless. So that was really nice of them. And I'll put some links in the description where you guys can purchase this They're around 20 bucks or so. Um, I am affiliated with the link, so that means if you click and buy it, I'll get a um, small fee for Tactical Toolbox, which is what helps support us so we can bring you guys more reviews. But I always like to be honest and transparent about everything. However, even though people send me free stuff or I might make a little bit of money if someone buys something, it doesn't affect how I feel about it. So I'm always going to try to be as bias free as possible, but we all know it's not that possible to eliminate all bias. But with that being said, guys, I do think it's a good idea to get you one of these. But there are a couple of issues I have with it aside from the fulcrum trigger issue that I had. Um, but we'll dive down, take a look at it and see how you guys Think about it and I'll let you guys make up your mind for yourselves. All right, guys. So here, guys, you can see the uh, Strike Industries Toolless Mag Plate. And they got a couple different versions. They got, this is version one. They got version two, which is, uh, it looks like two little lines instead of one big button. But the way it works is you just simply press in and it comes right off. Now that is nice. I agree. That is nice. Um, but when you go to reinstall it, it can be a little bit cumbersome. One, you got to keep your finger underneath this or this button will fall out as you can see right there. So that's a little bit cumbersome when reinstalling. I wish they would figure out a way to keep that button captured so that you don't have any issues. So you got to really play with this guy and get your fingers in an awkward position. And so you're still going to need a tool to push these down. You can see you still need tools to put it back together. And the same tools that put it back together could also be used like when we pulled down on the striker sleeve. One plus to not using this to take the striker sleeve off is sometimes over time, I don't know if this one's happened to this gun, that striker sleeve you could probably wear it out a little bit and you know push on it. Another thing is the finish on this can get scratched. As you can see, I've scratched it up a few times. So if you're looking at it just to make your gun sexy, it will work, but expect it to get scratched up a little bit. But um, like I said, for 20 bucks, you can't go wrong with these guys if you just want to try one out. Um, now, like I said, uh, it didn't work on my uh, Zev Tech. Here it is right here, the race connector, because it was so fat. But now they've corrected it and it works just fine. Um, like I said, I've been to the range, put some rounds through it, and it works just perfectly on the uh, all trigger connectors now. So I've, so far I've tried the Glock OEM, the Ghost Edge connector, 
and the Glock minus connector as well as this Zevtech V4 race connector. So guys, like I said, awesome product. It does make it easy to take it apart at the range, but you still need tools to put it back together. So I'll let you guys be the judge if you want to purchase this or not, because this might not be for everyone. So we're, I'm not going to take up too much of your time, guys, because like I said, awesome product. Strike Industries always does a great job, and the link will be in the description. Well, guys, that concludes my review for the Strike Industries Toolless Backplate. Like I said, they look sexy. Um, they're awesome. But like I said, it's kind of redundant. It's like, yeah, I can get it apart really quickly, but I still need a small screwdriver, like I showed you guys, to put it back together. And um, that same small screwdriver could be used to push the channel liner down. I mean, not channel liner, but the striker sleeve down in order to disassemble it. So, I mean, yeah, it's cool. You can take it apart real quick, but is it really worth it? I mean, they're only 20 bucks. So, I mean, Strike Industries, like I said, not only do they have high quality, but their prices are always reasonable. So, guys, be sure to check those out if you want to get one. And uh, there's not a whole lot left to say about this, except it's kind of like gun swag. I kind of like it. it. Looks sexy on the gun, matches your triggers. Um, I do believe they make black and red, whatever color floats your boat. But um, yeah, guys, thank you again to Garrett from Strike Industries for sending these out for review. And I can't wait to review more stuff from them in the future. But uh, that's a wrap, guys, and as always, God bless you.